Alright, today I'm going to show you an earwig. Now, um, the earwig, you've already all probably seen it and maybe even gotten pinched by one. But the really unique thing about these guys here, I'm going to use a flashlight because these guys are it's sort of hard to see. See those pinchers in back of him right there? Those things, he mainly uses them for defense. So if you pick him up, he's probably going to try and pinch you. Um, and uh, they're, they are a type of insect, like most, like all insects, they have six legs. I don't know if you can see them. But, um... He might have, like, lost when I was catching him. He was really fidgety. It's hard to get him into a little flask like this. Um, but, uh, like all insects, they have antenna. And, um, I'm going to try and focus that. All right, so, um, so they have antenna like all insects. But the main characteristic that really, um, that really separates them from most insects are these big pinchers in back. And again, they use those for defense. And they eat rotting matter, and where you can find them most is like these like dark spaces. They like to hide in dark little crevices where they won't be found. Um, actually, my mom has these flowers that form like little hexagonal uh, type um, uh, leaves. I mean petals. So sometimes she just sees a pair of pinchers sticking out of the back of them. And that is because earwigs have actually gone and just hidden in there. Because it is they consider it a good place to hide. I mean, yeah, it could work. But um, maybe not the best hiding place. So now this guy's starting to move around. Since I've been scaring him around with this light. They don't like light very much. They can go surprisingly fast, I discovered. And they can walk really quickly. Um, because, oh, well, I didn't know that before, but I tried to catch one, and he ran like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, let's see if I can get him to move. Come on, move. Oh. See here, he's moving. This is, I thought that they always just moved really slowly, but surprisingly, they don't. They want to, they can move really quickly. So, um, that's the earwig. They, uh, they live across North America and Europe, mainly. But, um, some are also found worldwide. Uh, like this guy. Um, it's either that they're found worldwide or they're found in Europe. And, um... I'm assuming that that is because they were native to Europe, but they were carried over when the Europeans colonized the Americas and everywhere else that they did. So, um, so yeah, these, uh, these bugs are, can be nasty if you don't know how to take care of them. So, thanks for watching. Bye.